Hey there, in this episode I'll take Canadian music for 500, Alex. Canadian English. Quirky, eh? Hello, bonjour, oi, welcome, and thanks for tuning in to a new episode of our series, Canadian English, Quirky, eh? Let's poke some fun, and hopefully a little bit of learning along the way, about some of the quirkier aspects of the English language, in particular, Canadian English. Today's episode is all about a subject near and dear to our Canadian hearts, music. From the log-rolling tunes of the Northern Lumberjacks to the Courriers du Bois and French-Canadian chansonniers, from La Bolduc, the Gaspé songstress who captured hearts around the world during the Dirty Thirties, to international superstar Celine Dion, packing them in every night in Vegas, from the Western icons Joni Mitchell and Katie Lang, to the Super Bowl headliner The Weeknd, from teenage heartthrob Paul Anka of the 60s, still playing to sold-out crowds in Vegas, to Justin Bieber, today's teenage heartthrob, we love our music and so does the world. My name is Lawrence, and my friends call me Larry, and today's installment is presented in the form of a contest. Hence the title, I'll Take Canadian Music for 500, Alex, a shout-out to the late Alex Trebek, Canadian Hall of Fame host of America's favorite game show, Jeopardy. It would be just wrong to discuss Canadian music without mentioning the above artists along with superstars Leonard Cohen, Brian Adams, The Guess Who, Rush, Anne Murray, Alicia Cara, and Drake. This list goes on and on, but we have to draw the line somewhere. So today's challenge zeroes in on those songs that name Canada or a Canadian city or landmark in the title or lyrics. How many do you know? We came up with 10 and would love to hear about any we have overlooked. O Canada. This one's a gimme. Everybody gets a point for the national anthem, composed by Calixa Lavallee. But you get an extra point if you can sing the new lyrics replacing All Thy Sons Command. This discussion has been causing a real Canadian kerfuffle for decades, and was finally changed to a gender-neutral version in 2018. Farewell to Nova Scotia, a maritime folkloric tribute to the seabound coast of the province of Nova Scotia. Canadian Railroad Trilogy. Our beloved troubadour, Gordon Lightfoot, tells the story of the trials and tribulations of building the cross-country railroad. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And I quote, The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they called Gitche Gume. This is another classic saga from the great Gordon Lightfoot. Bob Cajun, a more recent song from another Gord, Gord Downey in the Tragically Hip. He sings about a Toronto police officer who distresses by spending his off time in the immensely popular cottage country party town. And I quote, It was in Bob Cajun, I saw the constellations reveal themselves one star at a time. <laughs> Alberta Bound. This homage to his home province is from Paul Brandt, an award-winning country music artist who became popular in the 90s. Une Canadienne Arant, pure classic love song to Canada sung by a rebel banished from his country. The Wandering Canadian has been covered by many artists over the years, but was written in 1842 by Antoine Guerin Lajoie after the Lower Canada Rebellion of 1837-38. Some of the rebels were condemned to death, others forced into exile. A very sad time. I just want to stop. Gino Vanelli wrote and sang this hit in 1978. It sold millions of records and still brings concertgoers to their feet with the opening line, and I quote, When I think about those nights in Montreal. The hockey song. Every hockey-playing nation on the globe would like to lay claim to the good old hockey game. And they might get away with it, right up until Stompin' Tom Connors yells near the end, Henderson scores for Canada! That's where the anthem's ownership is made official. Hockey night theme. Technically, this piece of music has no lyrics that I know of, but it will always signal the beginning of Hockey Night in Canada, even though it has since changed. So it does not really meet the criteria for this contest, but my game, my rules. So how did you score? If you have other titles to add to our list, let us know at waveplus.ca, and don't forget to tune in to our next episode. We'll keep talking about things that make Canada special, 
And yes, just a bit quirky. Until then. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please take a moment to give us your feedback and like us with a big thumbs up. Feel free to play it again and share it with friends and family. You have been listening to Canadian English, Quirky, eh? A podcast series produced by Brazilian Wave Canada. This project was made possible through the generous support of the Canadian Periodical Fund. If you want to subscribe to this series and have access to exclusive episodes, please sign in at waveplus.ca. Until then, catch you later. Adieu. Ciao. Stay healthy. Canadian English. Quirky, eh?